Why, hello there, Team Kestava, as well as, uh, looks like a couple YouTubers wandered in the back there. Uh, make them feel welcome, team. You know, grab them a seat, maybe a water. You know, we do better than water here. We got, we got Gatorades, we got the Powerade, we got the good stuff. Maybe a glass of milk. I don't know. It's kind of creepy, but no milk. Not in this lecture hall. But welcome back. We have another uh, civil PE exam review problem today for everyone. This one dives into the construction aspect of things. Uh, we got a request from a team member. He is taking the construction specific afternoon portion. So he wanted a couple more of those problems to help freshen him up. And although we do do structural engineering here, in the civil PE exam, there are still a number of questions for construction management, even if you're structural specific. So this is helping everybody across the board. So even if you're not construction, Booty in a seat, pencil out. Jose, I swear, you bring in another cheese pizza in my class one more time, you're terminated. Let's jump right in. All right, so we have uh, a workforce of six electricians, and they have to install 420 light fixtures in a new office building. Two electricians work together and can install one light fixture in 20 minutes. The crews expect to have 0.8 efficiency factor due to environmental conditions on this job. We'll talk about that. Um, and the crews will be scheduled for nine hour workdays, which include one hour breaks for lunch. That's pretty typical in, uh, in construction. Uh, the duration of this construction activity, days, comma, hours, is most nearly what? All right, so we kind of have to, it's, this one's like a little puzzle. It's kind of fun. So I definitely see the construction side of things. Um, I know you might say the same thing for structural engineering is kind of like solving a puzzle as well. All types of engineering is like solving a puzzle. But this one for me is kind of like a fun little puzzle. So what I would do first is say, just start peeling back the layers like an onion, like an onion. And let's start with, okay, so what I, how I would break this down is like this. You know that two elect, I'm going to call that for electricians, equals one fixture, so one fix, per 20 minutes of time. And we have six electricians, so that would be two more elect and two more elect, all the same thing. All of them can install, as a pair, as a group, one fixture per 20 minutes. So that means all we have six electricians, so that means the group of electricians can install three fixtures, and we'll just say the sum of electricians, can install three light fixtures in 20 minutes. Be careful there. It's not, it's not cumulative for the time because over the course of 20 minutes, you have three groups of two electricians running all over the place of this building, and they're all tackling um, their own fixtures that they're working on simultaneously. So don't think that it takes 60 hours for all the electricians to install three fixtures. It takes 20 minutes. Okay, that's good. Uh, what else do we have here? Well, we know that we have 420 light fixtures. I'm actually going to keep that to the end. So what else can we break down here? Well, let's go through a typical, what's a normal work day? How many hours are in an actual work day? It's not just 24 hours. They're not working nonstop. They're not robots. They are scheduled for nine hours per day minus one hour lunch. So a full day of work would be eight hours per day. And they are working with a 0 0.8 efficiency factor. What that means is, again, we're not talking robots here. It's, it's real people, it's real tradesmen, tradeswomen, and you go to the bathroom. They go out and they're you know dehydrated. They need to grab a water. They need to go grab a coffee. Some might get on their phone for a little bit and get distracted. It's like anything, any profession, has efficiency loss, right? It's, we don't just perfectly work the exact eight hours nonstop, totally dead set laser focus. It's very rare that that happens and that's just human nature, unfortunately. So what we do with that is we say, well, full eight hours is what's in the day for the workday for them where they're supposed to be working, but we should be assuming that they're only working 80% of that. So 20% is downtime. So multiply eight hours times 0 0.8, that's gonna get us 6.4 hours per day. 
of full on, all the electricians are working, installing these fixtures. We, kn we know that, 6.4 hours per day. All right, well we know that the sum of electricians can install three fixtures in 20 minutes. Let's get that into out of minutes and into hours. So that means, well, one hour equals 60 minutes. We all know that. So that means if all the electricians can install three fixtures in 20 minutes, that means they can install nine fixtures in one hour's time. So sum of elect equals nine fixtures per one hour. And we know that we have 6.4 hours per day, which means that if we multiply that by nine fixtures per one hour, technically it's like units, they cross out, they cross out. Let me draw that a little better for you. So 6.4 hours per one day. And I'll erase this quick, sorry, backtracking. And they can do nine fixtures in one hour. Well, you cross out your units, hours and hours, that's gonna get you 6.4 times 9, which would equal 57.6 fixtures per day that they can install. And now we come to the final conclusion of saying, well, how many fixtures do they need to install? They have to install 420 fixtures. So that, and you're going to divide by 57.6 fixtures per day, which is going to equal... 7.29 days, but don't just stop there. So if we look back above, they give it to us in days and hours. So that's clearly seven days and 0 0.29 days. We know there's technically 6.4 hours per one day going to equal, and we know there's eight hours per day, which is going to equal 2.3 hours. So it's seven days, 2.3 hours. So we'll round up to make sure that all of our fixtures are complete and three hours. That, if we go green for good answers, is our final answer. Let's head back over to the top and see how we did. So seven days, three hours. I'm going to say C right on the freaking money. Uh, and looking at the other answers as well, they're nowhere close to what we got, which is most of the time a good sign. Um, that is something, a little hint for you on the exam. When you get a, an answer for yourself, make sure you just take 10 seconds. That's it, 10 seconds to look at the other answers to see what's going on. Because some problems will have answers that are all very close to one another, and it could come down to just rounding errors. There's a few of those that are like that. And then there's other answers where they're just freaking monumentally off. This is one of those where they're way off. Like you're looking at the rest of these, and they're, they're not even close. So I feel really confident that this one's good if I had time at the end of the exam, I wouldn't be coming back to this one to check it out and maybe run through some numbers again to make sure. I would go more towards the other problems where the um, listed answers are a lot closer together. A little hidden tip there for you. I hope you liked it. And team, we're done today. So bing bang, boop, we're good to go. If you like this video, give it a like. Uh, share it with someone else who's studying with you, if you have your study groups, if you have your class at school, share it, let them know, help them out a little bit. Um, it's only going to help out everyone when we lift each other up together. So this is Rich with Kestava, as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Jose, pizza, I want some next time.